Hey everybody, welcome to Miss Tori's Read and Learn. Today I will be reading a silly story called Silly Tilly. It is written by Elaine Spinelli and illustrated by David Slonum. Let's read on to see what Silly Tilly does. Tilly was a silly goose, a daffy down and dilly goose, who took her baths in apple juice. She wore a pancake as a hat. She tried to ride the farmer's cat. She kissed a fish, imagine that. Tilly likes to tickle frogs and kick a pickle to the hogs and hop on top of soggy logs. She combed her feathers with a rake. She sailed pig's pail across the lake. She sat on rooster's birthday cake. Oh my, Tilly is so silly. One day her friend said, that's enough. Enough of your silly stuff. Their barnyard voices sounded gruff. Gruff is another word for a rough sounding voice. No more naps in scarecrow's pants. No packing piglet off to France. No yodeling at the harvest dance. The weeks went by and Tilly Goose stopped being a silly goose. Good job, said Cousin Billy. Poor Tilly, she looks so sad. It happened though, that Hedda Hen remarked, I haven't laughed since when? Since Tilly chased the garbage man. Since Tilly sneezed, said Harvey Goat, and blew the fleas from the farmer's coat and set his underwear afloat. It's Dolesville on the farm, no fun. I think I speak for everyone, said Horse. I know what must be done. And so they did apologize with quacks and oinks and heartfelt sighs to Silly Tilly's great surprise. Now Tilly's back to her old ways. She soaks her feet in mayonnaise and sled downhill on cookie trays. She glues blue glitter on the plow and turns six cartwheels on the cow. And all the farm is happy now. The end. I hope you enjoyed laughing along with Silly Tilly. See you guys next time. Thank you. Goodbye, friends.